Hey, what's up, everyone? None of geeks. I'm gonna show you how to remove programs like games, uh, some accessories that you don't uh, normally can rem be removed from the uninstall um, uninstall program that comes with the w uh, Windows. Uh, so, uh, like, say you want to remove, for an example, XPS Viewer completely from your computer. You want it. You don't want to uninstall. Instead of like, right click and delete. It won't delete it completely from a computer but it will delete it from the task area or like say you want to remove uh, Windows Media Center first thing you want to go ahead and do is click on start and then control panel you want to go to uh, uninstall a program if for, for Vista and seven users for Windows XP you would see something like this so you want to look for uninstall programs and features and you want to click on turn off turn windows features on or off you want to click on that you'll see user account control box for vista and seven users you cannot see it because cam studio does not capture it i hope they do uh, uh, enable this feature in the future so give it a couple seconds if you have a fast pc it will just be a couple seconds if you have a slow pc it will be like a, either a minute or two so like uh, for example games, you want to get rid of all this stuff, you don't want it on there so I'm going to get rid of Spider Solitary, no, uh, Spider Solitary is installed, uh, let's see, let's see what's installed, yeah I don't even know what I have installed, I'm sorry, oh yeah see as you can tell, as you can see Solitary is installed, so let's say you want to install, uninstall Solitary, you uncheck that box and click OK. Or if you want to install Spider Solitary, check that box. Uh, whatever you want, you check these boxes. Uh, or uh, let's go to, uh, you want to get rid of Internet Explorer 9, uncheck that box. Uh, it's just, this was telling you that um, other programs that are uh, used with, or uses uh, Internet Explorer may not work correctly if I remove it. Um, I use Internet Explorer 9 just in case something happens to Firefox. I have another browser to uh, to use. Um, you want to remove like media features like Windows DVD Maker, Windows Media Center, Windows Media Player. Uncheck these boxes. Uh, anything else like uh, Internet Printing Client. You don't you just want to get rid of all the stuff like Windows and Fax, Fax and Scan. You don't, you're not going to have a Fax or a Scan machine. Just get rid of that. Uh, what else? Uh, tablet PC components, you can get rid of that. Uh, Windows Gadget Platform, that, that's the one where it shows you up, uh, that shows you like you can have the calendar over here or how much your CP is being used or memory, what's your uh, disk, uh, how much your disk space you have. Uh, you can get rid of uh, Windows Search, uh, whatever you want. Uh, XPS viewers, you can get rid of that. That's the same thing as uh, Inner Explorer 9, that uh, that thing. Uh, and that's about it. Um, get away for it and so I can get rid of uh, whatever things you don't want or things that you want or starting to add. Sometimes uh, for XP, it will ask you for the installation disk, the original disk that it came with, in order to get that program that you were trying to add or install to the computer. Uh, sometimes it will ask for it to uh, have that disk to uninstall that program as well but for Windows 7 and Vista I've never seen um, uh, disable or enable features uh, for Vista and 7 uh, as you can see that uh, it needs to restart uh, that way you can uh, get rid of the settings completely get rid of everything because uh, the reason why it asks you to start a lot of these programs is because that program is still behind uh, once you restart it, everything is cleared from the memory uh, for the Windows operating system. So once it's cleared, that program is removed from the hard drive uh, as well. Yeah, so uh, that's that's basically about it. That's every uh, that's how to remove features, and this is how to uninstall the program. If you need to uninstall the program, like say a program that you installed and it doesn't have the uninstall feature, like let's say. Uh, have them uh, yeah so like say some something from here from my uh, sound blaster uh, 
uh, software. I don't want anything here. You go to uh, your create. You go to creative. Uh, where's it at? Creative, creative audio control panel, creative launcher, and creative software. All that. Yeah, so that's this, this section is just to install. Uh, yeah, that's about it. If you have a comment, leave a comment in, in my pants. Uh, if you want to ask me a personal question, don't want them to see it, uh, email me via YouTube or click on my known as Geek's name and send me a private message. If you have any questions, comments, as I said before, leave a comment in my pants, uh, uh, a personal email or whatever. Um, if if you want to learn how to do some things, anything from anything from a computer, how to clean it, how to build a custom PC, um, how to install a hardware, uh, for, uh, upgrade a firmware, whatever, uh, just let me know and uh, get back to you as soon as possible. Um, the, vi uh, the video might take a long to upload because I have a slow internet, uh, depending how long it is. and uh, The longer it is, the bigger the file is. Known as Geeks. This is Known as Geeks. Thank you for watching. And if you like to subscribe, subscribe. If not, it's okay. I'm not going to force you. Later.